What's up, YouTube? I wanted to take the intro of this video to remind you, I think I told you guys I'm going to be doing a series. The series, uh, it'll be at least 14 days of a video every day, like filmed semi-live. Um, so when I film it, it'll come out the next day. Um, and it's going to be called, after lots of voting and everything, oh, she's so sleepy. Look at her face. Um, it's going to be the Quarren Queen series, and it's just going to show everything Brookie and I, the Quarren Queens, or Quarren Cats, are doing for our little quarantine together. Brookie's just sleeping all the time, obviously. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I did want to remind you guys, too, um, also, my mom and my sister are a nurse, so they've seen a lot of people die and a lot of crazy things happen. And they personally think it's not safe to go to a grocery store or go do anything. So I want to remind you guys that you can get cool things like this new coffee cake bar from Bomar Nutrition. You can buy them individually or you can buy them in a 12 pack. They're really affordable when you consider how much they cost per bar. And you can use referral code Bridget at the link below and it helps me out a ton. Just wanted to let you guys know this is literally all I bring shed hunting. I bring three or four of them. That's my new go to and nobody else has done the coffee cake bar and it's unreal literally my favorite snack all right guys i hope you enjoy the video stay safe can you even see me oh brook what's up youtube i hope you guys are staying safe in the craziness uh that's going on right now with the coronavirus a lot of people are locked up in their homes right now me and brookie included i love you brook and I figured, what better time to do a YouTube series? Um, today's St. Patrick's Day. <sighs> um, oh, it's stuck. So, today's St. Patrick's Day, so that's the plan there. Today I'm gonna be cooking an Irish stew. The grocery stores here in Utah are pretty much out of food, so it's gonna be very improvised. I couldn't get everything I needed. My house is a mess right now because I moved out of college because my college was closed. Um, so I definitely need to work on cleaning my house. And I got new hair. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on. Um, but we're gonna cut right to a fun little cooking St. Patrick's Day video. In the next couple days, I'm gonna make a deer roast. Just for the easiness of like a traditional Irish stew, I am making a beef stew today. Like I said, a little improvised because the coronavirus and the people hoarding all the groceries. I'm gonna clean up my kitchen a little bit and we'll get started. I wanna start off by saying happy St. Patrick's Day. You guys know I'm like nearly 100% Irish, so this is a big holiday for me and my family. Brookie and I are just quarantined by ourselves, so we're gonna enjoy it. It's gonna be a great meal. Um, I have two questions for you guys. What did you eat for St. Patrick's Day? Question number one. Question number two, what is going on in your state? Name your state and say the latest like coronavirus update. In Utah, there's like 40 something cases. It's getting very scary. I feel safe here in the country, but I wanna know all about the coronavirus in your area. You tell me and you tell me now. I gotta go shopping in my trailer and see if I have any things that I'm missing because the grocery store had nothing. Let's go. dinner is served. I'm gonna eat this right now and show you my first impressions. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. It came out awesome, really. I'm excited to try it. Let's try it. 
So I did test like a little piece of beef earlier and it was so tender. Like right now I'm cutting it with a spoon. Hold on, there we go. Need a little bit of pressure. Okay, let's just do a little carrot and some beef in this bite. Okay, beef roasts are so good. I don't eat them nearly enough. It's still pretty hot, but oh my gosh, that beef is unreal. Unreal. just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you all are staying super safe and happy and healthy during this crazy time. Uh, like the video said in the beginning, there will be a video every day starting the 1st of April. I wanted to give you like my honest impression on that stew and honestly, 11 out of 10. It was so good. And you can see by like how it was made. I didn't follow any recipe. I literally just used uh, beef bone broth, a bunch of different veggies chopped up, uh, chopped up meat. I used a little bit of garlic. I couldn't get any like fresh herbs at the store. They were all out and I really wanted to. But um, you know, celery, carrots, onions, potatoes, I was able to get all that. Um, Guinness. Uh, I was smart and got a thing, just one little bottle of Guinness like weeks before this for cooking, which was good because as soon as the coronavirus hit Utah, you really can't get anything. I'm sure the liquor stores, you probably couldn't even get a Guinness either. And it's funny because the Guinness adds such like a unique Irish stew flavor to it. And growing up, my grandma made like the best Irish stews and the best, um, like soups and everything. Irish people are just really good at throwing stuff in a pot and having it taste amazing. So I think I did a pretty good job. Wasn't as good as my grandma's, but it was still very good, like I said. Um, overall, I definitely want to cook with my crock pot again and do more stews like that because it was so tasty. I should work on some soups because look at the weather out there. I don't know if you can tell, but it's snowing. We are having like the most bipolar weather in Utah. Like it's beautiful 50, 60 degree days. And then the next day it's snowing. And I was actually gonna go shed hunting today, but after waking up and seeing the weather and then looking at the weather report, I'm just gonna go shed hunting tomorrow all day. So that's gonna be a fun video to look for. That will probably be the first video of the Quarant Queen series for the coronavirus people staying at home thing that I've been telling you guys about. So stay tuned for that one. It's going to be fun. It's going to be goofy. Um, just trying to keep some people entertained and give some normalcy to all your lives because I know things are really crazy right now. Um, my biggest advice would be, I know there's a lot of things that people could easily worry about, but I don't know the quote off the top of my head, but the late and great Ernest Hemingway um, had a great quote about worrying. I should look it up uh, so I can tell you guys exactly, but I always think about that. He was a wise man and he had a great quote about worrying. Okay, I just looked it up. I'm going to read it for you. Train yourself not to worry. Worry never fixes anything. 
And it's true if you think of it on a very logical standpoint, worrying about things is not gonna fix them, it's just gonna make you sick, it's gonna stress you out, it's gonna ruin your day, it's gonna ruin your week. So I know it's hard and we all get caught worrying sometimes, but I really, I always think of Ernest Hemingway when anytime I catch myself worrying. Worrying does not fix anything, ever. So all you can do is go about your day, have the best life that you can, um, live day to day because we're so lucky just for every little day on this earth. When I got in my accident, I saw how easy my life could have been taken away and I know how fragile life is. And every single day that we're here, we have nothing to worry about because we're alive and we're well and all is good. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope you had a great St. Patrick's Day. I hope you have a great week. Stay tuned for the Quarren Queen series. Please tell your friends about my videos. You can like this video and comment. That costs nothing to you and that helps me out a ton. You can subscribe to my channel and pass this on as well. Thank you so much for watching you guys and we'll see you on the next one.